I joined Speed six months before. I started by watching videos, watch some of the general surgery videos of yours, sir. And uh, mainly I've focused on surgical gastroenterology videos. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Rohik Anjum for scoring a topmost rank of uh, AML rank number four in MCH surgical gastroenterology in any SS session April 2024. Congratulations Thank to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Doctor, can we know from you a brief background from where you started till date? Yes, sir. I did my MBBS in Amala Institute of Medical Sciences. That's in Kerala. I did my MS in General Surgery from AIMS Rishikesh. And then I did my Senior Residency in General Surgery also from AIMS Rishikesh. I completed it. After that, I prepared for six months. I sat and prepared and now I'm here. Great, Doctor. Your vision and uh, ambition of doing uh, MCA surgical gastroenterology started when? So, uh, once I entered into general surgery residency, there were a lot of cases of surgical, uh, related to surgical gastro. But I was still not decided after a completion of my MS general surgery. I was a bit confused. In fact, I gave exam for urology at that time. Hmm. Uh, so, I continued working as a senior resident in general surgery. At that time, there was COVID pandemic also. There were a lot of problems. So once I started working, I gradually, I, I used to go to different OTs and uh, see various specialities. And finally, I realized I had a lot of passion in general uh, gastrointestinal surgery. And uh, that's the reason, sir. It's, I took my, it took me some time to actually know I really liked this branch. And once I knew it, then I decided I would go for it. Great. So you just have invested good time to understand what you like and what will suit you. And you have decided. Great. Doctor, can we know, once you have decided to MCA surgical gastroenterology, I mean, what all you did, how you started preparation, and what all you did to achieve this topmost rank? Yes, sir. Actually, my preparation for surgical gastro, I started after my senior residency. I couldn't study properly when I was working. So, I joined Speed six months before. Uh, so, that was the time when I started uh, preparing for, the, for this exam. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I started by watching videos. Uh, I watched some of the general surgery videos of yours, sir. And uh, mainly I've focused on surgical gastroenterology videos by Basan sir. Uh, those were quite thorough and detailed. It was very good classes. After that, I used to study the relevant theory part. I used to focus on the textbook. So Shackleford for luminal GI as well as Sabister. And for HPV, I used to go for selected topics in uh, Plumkat and some from uh, Sabiston as well. So this was my uh, basic uh, preparation for GI surgery part. Then the general surgery part, I focused on three books, Sabiston, Bailey and some parts from Schwartz. Those were the, all the important topics I've covered. I didn't have the time to cover the entire general surgery part of it. So I focused on the important things from general surgery and the core concepts in GI surgery. Great. Now, the time duration that you could give for per day, I mean, I mean were you working or I mean, working and no. uh, doing it or how it was? So uh, I was not prepared, uh, studying when I was uh, working at that time. After I completed my senior residency, then I, I dedicated the entire day for uh, preparation of GI surgery. I would say uh, maybe 70% of my preparation time was for GI and 30% for general surgery. Sir. Okay. How many questions did you attend this exam? Uh, I found the exam very difficult. Uh, <laughs> out of 50, I think <laughs> I attempted around 70, sir. Okay. Great. Now, what was your preparation and experience of your uh, interview session which were determining the ranks as well? I mean, how did you do? What did you do? So the interview session was quite tricky because I realized the interview was not purely focused on the theoretical knowledge. It was focused on how we are going to basically use that knowledge and apply in patient care. So a lot of this preparation was in that line. Uh, it was guided. Person Singh said to good class as well. So I think it was a little bit of clinical acumen was needed uh, for the interview session. It was not purely theoretical, sir. It was they were asking in terms of how will you manage the patient. So everything was patient centric in terms of the interview. And uh, spotters also. Spotters were mainly radiological spotters and things like that. Great, doctor. Now, can you tell us, did you give grand exams regularly? I mean, how, how uh, your testing assessment part was working? You are learning the theory. And oh, yes. how could you assess yourself? The grand exams, I started doing it uh, towards the end of my preparation. So, we had exam. One month prior to that, I started uh, doing the grand exams. Sir. Initial results were not good, but it was improving. So, right. I was okay with that. Okay. Now, a student aspiring for MCA surgical gastroenterology, what will your advice? Sir, I, I believe uh, to crack surgical gastro, the, first more, the foremost thing is you have to believe in yourself. 
it's very important because there are very less number of seats lot of people competing so you should have a clear focus on what exactly you want and uh, once you fixate on that that is the first step in my opinion after that there should be a continuous stream of work so you should be disciplined and every single day basically you have to work towards your goal you can use the videos which are given in speed as well as read the relevant textbook and finally you should practice the mcqs because you are being tested in mcq so your skills should be good quite good and finally towards the end of the preparation during the exam time you have to be focused and you have to be quite composed it's very easy to get all tensed and just performance may not be the best so that is the time where you have to be quite calm i believe it's a, it's a long journey sir i think it's uh, something that's worth it for uh, the candidates who would do great now time to thank whom all you want to thank you can use the platform to do so to help your career to build so fast yes sir i like to thank my my family my teachers or my friends as well as i learned a lot of things from a lot of patients so all those things uh, in this platform i like to thank you sir i have attended your general, general surgery class even for my pg preparation i like to especially thank basan sir as well he has taken wonderful classes and i'm very grateful that i attended those classes uh, <laughs> you'll be happy looking at your video and you'll be fully satisfied i'm i'm okay sir i'm happy and he will be very satisfied i'm saying okay 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 basan sir is uh because teacher wants that kind of a response and the results after the exams that's what they are working for actually and they'll be happy to see i'm very lucky that i could uh, follow basan sir's classes i have to say that and because he was basically an aim student he knows what kind what can be asked and what to be prepared so he's very thorough and and we has a extreme level of expertise yes sir yes. great doctor and uh, thanks for being with us today and once again we wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career in mcs surgical gastroenterology as a surgical gastroenterologist i think you'll you'll make a legendary landmark in your career uh, thank you <laughs> thank you very much wish you all the best and success thank you sir thank you